whenever you have your experiment, you'd be preparing two groups of your uh, setup or two setups. The first group that you have here is, is your experimental group. That is the group that you use to measure the relationship between your variables. So this is really the group that you use in your experiment. Hence, you, you call this your experimental group. The second group that you have is your control group. This does not have your independent variable and your dependent variable. It only serves as a basis for comparison. Okay, It is only used to increase the validity and, of course, to decrease bias in your experiment. Now, say you have this. Your experiment is written at the bottom. Experiment is, or your testable question is there. Will student test scores be affected by distracting sounds in the testing environment? Will student student test scores be affected by distracting sounds in the environment. Who can give us the independent variable and the dependent variable in that experiment? The uh, independent is the distracting noises and then the dependent is the test scores of the uh, students. Okay, very good. That's correct. Okay, so Reed said your distracting sounds, that is going to be your independent variable and of course the results of that your student test scores, that is going to be your dependent variable. Now, as you can see here, your experimental group, this has your independent variable, okay? So it has all the distracting sounds that your students can hear. And of course, your experimental group, this is the group that you use to really measure the effect of your independent variable and how it affects your dependent variable. Now, while your control group, as you can see here, the control group does not have your independent variable, okay? So it doesn't have the independent variable. And so it also doesn't have your dependent variable because remember your dependent variable is just the result or the effect of your independent variable. Okay, but as you can see here, the control group is only used as basis for comparison. Okay, this is only used as basis for comparison. So these are the two types of groups that we have whenever we have our experiment.